What's up, YouTubes? We thought we would uh, go through a series of videos, starting with me talking about my kayak setup, because uh, I really love watching videos of other people's kayak setups, and I thought I would do one of my own. So we'll run through this real quick. We'll go about a stern and uh, talk about what we got. I have got six rod holders with various stuff set up. But starting in the front, I made some big changes this year and went to a lithium battery with the Yak Power solid state controller to do nav lights and uh, deck lights so that I can actually see some stuff in the night when we launch early in the morning and so that people could see me instead of uh, the little battery operated ones that we had the last couple of years. Also up front, you've seen a lot of these, the retractable cords. I use that as my uh, launch and recover rope and it keeps everything nice and clean, keeps it right on my deck. We launch it from the trailer, recover it on the trailer, right back in there nice and clean and I don't have a rope hanging out on my boat a little bit farther back one of the guys that's on team new uh, he's the river man I don't remember his actual name but I love his setup and I've adopted some of the things that he had going on uh, these are just extra um, tackle boxes that I got they fit the smaller Plano really easy I've got uh, terminal, some swim baits and a uh, few things in there, and then spinner baits and creature baits, along with uh, some cool little A rigs. On this side, this is my soft plastic locker, holds all my uh, Ned Rig style DK weedless from Venom and all my various plastics that I use worms, creatures, swim baits, uh, craw, everything that you might fish with. But I love these. These are like $10 at Academy Sports and uh, just made some L brackets, drilled the holes for the the T-bolt that goes on the rails, and it was, it was super easy to do. I love it. It freed up a lot of deck space and made my boat a lot cleaner and lighter. I got my Yak Attack net, the rubberized net. Love this thing. The hooks don't get stuck on it. Uh, it's just really nice, and it's nice having that forearm support when you're trying to bring a lunker into the boat. Of course, I got my hog trough. But later on you'll see some uh, cool stuff that I'm building for this that nobody else has and hopefully that'll be available for everybody. Here we got the fish finder and chart. That's the Helix 5. Uh, Chris and I both use the same unit. Transducer here so I can bring it up out of the water nice and easy. Everything's super clean. Uh, that Yak Power kit has some outlets that I put in the boat right there and I'm able to plug in the, the uh, fish finder and I have a 12 volt adapter in case I need to charge my phone or whatever. On this side I took a mechanics magnet for nuts, bolts, whatever, drilled some holes for the T-bolts and drilled some holes for drainage in case water gets inside it. And my baits, if I'm using baits, this is kind of like my catch-all for the day. I cut it off, I throw it in there. If uh, getting some rough water, the stuff doesn't, it doesn't come out. It's, it sticks to those magnets and it stays right there. I, I love that thing. Over on this side, I got my paddle holder. I mounted it on the outside of the boat just to free up my deck space. If you've watched any of our Instagram, you uh, go back to the beginning of that and you see the beaver video where I fall in the water and that's mostly due to me getting tangled up in rope and net on my deck so I have done everything I can to simplify my boat and make it to where I don't go in the drink anymore I've also got 
a heavy duty, uh, the same company that makes these, Boomerang, heavy duty carabiner type, super strong, it'll, it'll hold quite a bit of weight, 14 pounds I think, and uh, I got my fish clip on there to, I catch a fish, I can put it in the water, I know it's not going to get away while I'm waiting to get my board set up or take a picture of it. Over here, I got my cooler. This is a multi-purpose. I was tired of having a seat with a crate with all my gear. I didn't like the way it was set up. It was just kind of clustered, so I was trying to simplify. And uh, I decided to put the cooler on here as my tackle storage. But I've also got a retractable cord for my anchor mounted to it. And I put some eyelets on here so that I could have another retractable tool for my pliers and for my cutters. If I ever tip over or whatever, I just want to be able to strap this thing and go. I don't want to have to take a bunch of stuff off my boat. Everything's secure. If I tip it over, I'm not going to lose much of anything. And just a normal style anchor. I don't know if you can see it over here, but this is the Yak Power controller. I'm able to turn on, I got my bow lights and my navigation lights. I don't know if you can see those on right now. Are they on? Yeah. yeah. The Yak Power does sell some LED kits that are made specifically for their kits, but they're $80. Uh, the ones I got are $12.99 a pair. And I also have some white LED deck lighting. I can turn my power to my uh, hummingbird on from here, power to my trolling motor from here, all my power is right here at my side, easy to reach. I don't have to climb all over my boat to turn things on and off. My cooler can come off relatively quickly if I need to. I just got some Velcro straps with the carabiners on the track holds and uh, if I needed to I could take this completely off in about I don't know 30 seconds towards the back again multiple rod holders because I don't like stuff just laying around the deck uh, I got my busy pull for nighttime ops or low light I had the new canoe uh, through hole wiring system and I have ch changed to the Yak Power and that that's why I have two ports back here but this connection is so much more sturdy and tight than the connection that comes with the new canoe kits I like this a lot more and then I got a 34 pound uh, Minn Kota if I'm not fishing a tournament that requires me to do paddle or pedal, um, I use my motor. I like being able to move around, recon places a lot, see a lot of different spots, and I can cover more ground than if I was just paddling. And that helps for practice for the tournaments. Front and back, I installed these eyelets so that once we get on the trailer, it takes about 15 seconds, throw my rope through there, tighten it to the trailer, it's ready to go. We can go on and off the trailer, launch really quick, we can move spots. That's something that's really big on tournament days. If we don't like where we're at, we can throw it on the trailer real quick, move to the next spot, and get going again. On this side, I got the anchor trolley. I think everybody uses the anchor trolley. Um, especially kayak fishing because you got to be able to position your boat sometimes to fish into the wind or out of the wind or into the current, out of the current, whatever you like. That's my setup. Make sure you like and follow our Twisted Hooks Instagram, Twisted Hooks Facebook. Check out this on our YouTube. There'll be a lot more to come. Thanks.